So, the first group stage match of the UEFA Champions League. Players now walking out and a frenetic atmosphere should provide a vivid backdrop to this hugely anticipated contest. And the stadium comes to life as we hear the strains of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Up goes the curtain on another UEFA Champions League, and that means listening, Jim, to that magnificent anthem again. Well, it's the best club competition in the world. And as soon as you hear that music, the hairs on my neck certainly stand up anyway. It always gets me going, and I can't wait for the campaign ahead. Does the same go for the players, do you reckon? Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, it's the same for them now. They know how important this competition is, how big it is. This, this is the biggest stage they can play on, and uh, they love it all. Yes, big time European football starts here and starts now. We are off and running. Olympic Lyonnais against Barcelona. Bisseva. Muhammadu Dabo. Bisseva. Gurkuf. Bumtiti. Looking to play on the break, Adriano. Puyol. Daniel Alves. Piquet. Adriano. Iniesta on the ball. Sergio Busquets. Here's Iniesta. You have to admire that control. Through to Iniesta. And he chooses the option of the back pass. Muhammadu Dabo. Puyol with the crucial intervention. Adriano Sergio Busquets Bumtiti is in position to intercept He's waiting here a goal for Lyon and there's the first goal of the game 
fine delivery and a header to match. Well, once he saw the cross was coming, he just ghosted in position and got a great head to that. That's a very good finish. They get us underway at 1 0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Grenier, who's just scored a fine goal. Daniel Alves. Xavi. Now Alexis Sanchez. A long ball forward. And Messi. Here's Xavi. Now Alexis Sanchez. He's not taking any risks there. Here's Daniel Alves, looking to carve open the defence. Shoots here. Cleared away to safety. We are entering stoppage time. And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. The second half kicks off then. Iniesta. Xavi. Now Sergio Busquets. Balls with Iniesta. Grenier is there to intercept. Xavi on the ball. Lovely link up. Here's Neymar. Here's Messi. Xavi will drive this corner in. Puyol. Now Neymar. The ball is with Messi. Oh, good block. He was in the right place. The keeper was tested there. He knows very well he can score from that distance. Not quite this time. Grenier, already a goal scorer in this match. Now through to Lissandro Lopez. Lissandro Lopez shoots, denied by the goalkeeper. Oh, what a great individual effort that was. Lovely close control, good balance. A shame he just couldn't add that finish. Goku will take the corner. Possibility here. A good ball in, but he couldn't finish it off. Oh, the ball in at such good pace on it. He only had to redirect it with his head. I think the cross was an absolute peach. Xavi. Now a chance for a cross. And the cross met firmly. A shot, and that was on target. Certainly no harm in trying from that distance. He's cocky enough to have a go, but you have to be so accurate from there. Lisandro Lopez. 
Daniel Alves. Sergio Busquets. Gurkuth. Umtiti. Creator of one goal already. Now Alexis Sanchez. Kone. Gurkuth. Umtiti is using the touchline as a guide. Gonalons. Gurkuth. Now Lisandro Lopez. A long ball into space. Vital interception there. Neat ball through the middle. Muhammadu Dabo gets it back in the nick of time. The referee brings the game to a close. Well, I have to say, that is a terrible start to the tournament. It's a result that does them few favours. It leaves them in the position of needing something from every remaining game. Listen, they had plenty of time to overcome the setback, but for me, they never quite had enough adventure in their play to get back into that one. So, before we leave the stadium, there's just time for me to say my thanks to Jim for his analysis and to wish you a very good evening.